I want to start off by welcoming everybody here. Uh, it's, it's great to have this turnout tonight to, uh, to recognize the, the inductees this evening. These people have made sacrifices in their lives. We want to recognize that. We want to give honor where honors due. That is going to lead me into our first inductee tonight, Rex Brooking. Rex attended CCS for six years and graduated in the class of 92 with four letters in basketball. Rex was an intense competitor, hard worker, and respected leader. In 2011, Rex felt God's calling to eat more chicken. And I, I wrote it that way. I spelled it wrong. He had the opportunity to franchise a Chick-fil-A and open a restaurant in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. In his own words, Calvary helped me to set the foundation of my life as a, a follower of Christ. The truths I've learned and the examples I witnessed left an indelible impact on my life. I am so thankful to have been given the opportunity to attend Calvary. It gives me great honor to present to you our first inductee of the night, not only because he deserves it, but also because I was one of the hundreds that he affected. Rex. If you've ever been to an award ceremony where Dave Stockman took the podium, you understand where I'm about to head. So settle in. This, this is quite an honor for me to get to come back to Calvary uh, to be honored for anything. I know Mr. Hammers is uh, amazed uh, that I'm standing here. Uh, <laughs> I would like to take the opportunity uh, to thank the folks that are seated in this room that have made the difference in my life. Obviously, uh, uh, I met my wife here, and there's no better thing that happened to me at Calvary Christian School than to have met uh, the uh, woman of my dreams, uh, the love of my life. Uh, you know, my mom and dad made a decision to send my sister and I here uh, after my brother had gone uh, all the way through public school and my sister and I got the privilege of coming to Calvary 7th through 12th and it had an enormous impact on our lives uh, and I thank you very much I'm greatly honored thank you Emily uh, Emily Turner Brummett graduated in 1995 after attending CCS for 13 years she's been connected with Calvary for 30 years in one form or another Emily had this to say in her own words and I'm quoting Calvary helped prepare me for life in so many ways. I was able to finish college doing well and attaining my goal of a Kentucky teaching certificate for secondary English. Spiritually speaking, Calvary's education is invaluable. Calvary prepared me for the real world by helping me see the world through a Christian worldview to use God's word as the standard. Please help me welcome Emily Turner Grumman. From CCS, California. First, I just want to say that I am so honored and humbled by this uh, nomination. I don't even. I would just like to spend the next few minutes giving thanks. Um, I'd like to thank the school. This school has been the single most influential, um, powerful influence in my life. It was here that I learned how to read in Mrs. Stockman's first grade class so that I could learn to read and study God's word. It was here that I heard that chapel message that day by Mr. Hammers, and I opened my heart to the Lord that day, riding home on the school bus. It was here that I learned how to think and understand and view the world through the lens of the scripture. It was here that I learned what true Christian service looks like because it was mirrored by many of the faculty and staff who chose and choose to work in this ministry of Calvary Christian School. To me, playing sports at Calvary was about so much more than athletic competitions. It was about life preparation. The ideals of teamwork, determination, hard work, tenacity, faithfulness, unity, they were all instilled in us at every opportunity using scriptures as the basis. Um, but I just want to publicly thank my parents for the commitment that you made to allow me to play. 
I'd like to thank my husband for your support and commitment as well, Daniel, as I continue to coach. Most of all, I'd like to thank, above all else, my Savior Jesus for loving me, for sacrificing himself for me, and for allowing me the great opportunity to be a part of Calvary Christian School for 30 years so far. I'm looking forward to many more years as my children now attend here, and they're in third grade and sixth grade. I just want to thank you again for this honor. I'm very humbled and truly thankful. I obviously never had the privilege of watching Michael McCarthy compete here at Calvary Christian, but I'd say if, uh, if he brought the same level of passion, commitment, hard work that he has brought to the Calvary uh, Christian boys soccer program as a head coach, it's clearly that he would have been an outstanding and successful competitor. He's personable, kind, highly motivated, and loyal to the school and others. A testimonial words from Michael. Calvary has really set the foundation of my life after high school. Sports taught me much about life and how to interact with others. Hard work, physical and mental focus, team play, all but perspective on what life is about. Adding the spiritual element in sports taught me much about God and how we can serve him through sports and in our daily lives. It gives me great pleasure to be able to present Michael McCarthy and induct him into Calvary Christian School Hall of Honor. Thank you, Matt, for those kind words. I, too, want to thank you, uh, thank Calvary Christian School for what they've invested into my life. Um, just being here at Calvary uh, from sixth grade on up through 12th grade, um, what an investment into my life, just daily being able to come to school, not only learning the things that you would learn in school, but being biblically based um, as well. Um, I want to thank my wonderful wife. Um, she's uh, a real blessing to me in my life. Um, she's invested as much as I am, and I, I appreciate her um, just, as, just as much as I can express to you all. Thank you to my kids for supporting as well. You know, this school equips the next generation for Christ. They did that in my life to not only go on after school, after Calvary, to do what I needed to do, but now it's impacting my kids as well. I have a senior, sophomore, and a sixth grader here, and they're doing the same things in their lives. So um, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. It is an honor to be inducted into the Hall of Honor. Thank you. Our next inductee is another gal whom I've had the distinct pleasure of uh, coaching, Barb East Walker. Barb began her high school career at CCS in 1991, graduated in 1995. She credits her former teachers for preparing her so well for college, having earned her degree from Northern Kentucky University, an associate's degree in radiographic technology. It's a new term I just learned radiographic technology, and she has her bachelor's degree in computer science. Barb also had this to say, and I quote, I believe that your actions speak louder than words. I try to live my life according to God's example. I had a wonderful time in high school, and sp sports are what kept me coming to school every day. My athletic experience taught me what teamwork was all about. I do many things with others, and my experience with, with my sports teams prepared me well. A well-deserved recipient to be inducted into CCS Hall of Honor, please wel help me welcome Barb East Walker to the CCS Hall of Honor. Well, I told my kids that I would keep this short and sweet. I just want to say thanks to everyone that helped me on my way. And this is a real big honor. And I just want to say thank you so much. And I had a great years coming here. And I hope that all the people that follow me have a great time too. Thanks. As Rex remembers, I was always last at the athletic awards. We do not honor Dave Hammers here tonight. We honor the Lord Jesus Christ, whom he serves. From motorcycles in Chicago to director of Fairhaven Rescue Mission, <laughs> the Lord has transformed the life of David Hammers into one of his choice servants. The tradition of the Hall of Honor has evolved from the heritage of Calvary Christian School. The heritage of CCS is found in the motto, training youth 
in the truth. You are being recognized here tonight because you have impacted so many others for Christ, and you continue to do so. How do we remember David Hammers? Most of us have heard him exclaim, Mother Bear. <laughs> Whenever I think of Dave Hammers, I think about him being an example of the real thing. I think of how complete his commitment is to Christ. I think about his consistency in living for Christ. Dave, you have been a blessed influence for Christ in so many lives, especially here at Calvary. Calvary Christian School welcomes you, Dave Hammers, to its wall of honor. Thank you, thank you. There's nothing special about Dave Hammers, <laughs> nothing. But he sure serves an awesome God. I believe, even as an old man, that Jesus is the answer. Because in those days, I was the high school principal, I was the disciplinarian, I was the counselor, I was the, <laughs> I taught three classes. Uh, and, but mainly what I wanted to do is I wanted to take the locker numbers of every student and go to every locker and pray for them that day. And all up and down the hall, I would pray for every student. Today, Sandra and I work at the Fairhaven Rescue Mission. I've been there now 16 years. Sandra's been there 18 years. Last year, we fed 46,000 people. We help about 900 ladies a month. When you add the children to it, that's about 3,000 women and children that come through our mission every single month. So tonight, thank you for allowing my, me to be with all these other honorable people. God has been so precious and so wonderful to me and my family. And tonight I challenge you to touch someone else. Make a difference in their life. I almost said let's pray. I don't know what's next, but thank you anyway.